first of all, I'm going to prepare um, a pasta salad. Normally in the Philippines, we prepare pasta salads, which is sweet. Okay? But here, since it's getting hotter, so we prepare salads for lunch. So this salad is out of colored pasta. Okay? And then we will boil that first. And then after that, we will prepare a salad. It's, it's salt, salty salad. Okay? So we have here the leaves I'm going to mix later on. Um, this I buy, I bought already prepared. So this is wash already and then I'm gonna mix it later on. And then we have here since since I am I have anemic problem so I will be putting um, raisins. I have here also walnuts. Okay, we will mix that one those later on. And then we will ha we have here green seedless olives, two tomatoes, and one golden apple. So it's very important that we have also mayonnaise. So this is not a sponsored, guys. So I will be putting putting this mayonnaise. Also oregano. It's very good for for the digestion. We will be mixing this, and of course salt. So these are our ingredients today guys for the for the pasta salad. So the pasta is already boiling guys. So you will wait five to six minutes and the pasta is ready. So you see the color is very nice guys. So normally this pasta, the orange one is out of tomato. The white ones are its normal weight and then the green is out of spinach so that's why they have colors guys. Normally when I'm sending packages in the Philippines I usually send a um, pair of kilos for my family because normally my younger sister usually asks, to say, asks me to send colored pasta there. I don't know if they already cook what I sent because the last time I speak to her she told me that they still had one pack there. One pack, one kilo. I don't know if they cook it already when my father celebrated his birthday. So we will continue guys. So here we are again guys. So the, the pasta is already cooked. I trained and I already put here on the bowl. So here you see I already put here the mayonnaise, the oregano, and then we will be mixing the walnuts and raisins. We will mix like this. You see guys I have here the tomatoes. Before cutting the tomatoes I I peeled it first because my daughter doesn't want tomatoes without peeling. So I peel it first. And then we have here also the the apple. So we have here the apple. I peeled it also. Okay. So we will be mixing mixing all together like this. Okay. I think my bowl is a bit small for this. But anyway, guys, we will try. So we will mix like this with patience, with love, of course, <laughs> with compassion. Okay. Because they say if you are contented cooking, okay, so the people who are going to eat are contented too. Anyway, sometimes if you are sad cooking, it's like, um, well, this is my own case, okay? When I'm not happy cooking, sometimes my children don't want to eat. So, I say perhaps because I was so sad and, or angry at that moment when I was cooking. So, so they don't want to eat the food I prepare. So I don't know if this affects also the emotion of the people who are eating the food we are preparing at home. But anyway guys, I'm just sharing my experience. So now we are going to mix the olives, the olives and the leaves. Okay. So we have lots of leaves. I, I think it's better I remove some because I put here lot. I don't know what are the names of these. I think this is radicchio, this violet. 
and then we have here we call this endibia um, i know it's not endibia so sorry escarola so that is carola it's a bit um, bitter but not so bitter uh, i learned eating salads with my mom you know when i arrived here in spain or before coming here in spain in the year 2003 i never liked fresh tomatoes nor fresh onions but here i learned because uh, you know mediterranean food they eat they, they prepare lots of salad so the first time i eat fresh tomato it's like <laughs> i didn't feel well i didn't feel well i should say but later on i got use of eating salad so here i am now so you see guys i cut bigger the the apples so that you can feel the apples in the mouth and everything normally before when my children are small a little i i grate before mixing it with the salad but now since they are big so i cut it bigger also well i think it's almost done our salad guys so this is very easy to prepare just boil the pasta you can mix here also boiled egg or chicken chicken meat and also tuna if you want or ham so since i am a vegetarian or we are vegetarians we don't put here i didn't put also boiled egg today because i don't know i i feel better the salad without the egg because i like to taste the flavor of the oregano i like very much the oregano because it's like um, it helps a lot during the digestion so guys we're done this is our food for today easy to prepare okay so see you next time happy weekend